Good morning, dear students. I wholeheartedly welcome you to today's English class. I hope you are all very fine by the grace of the Almighty. Now, in today's class, we will talk about some important parts from the English second paper. And I'm going to talk about writing formal letters. So before starting our class, I would like to introduce myself. So this is my profile. I'm Muhammad Rashid bin Mansur, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Rashi College, Rashi. Now, today's lesson, today's lesson is about writing formal letters. Now, we have some learning objectives, so we hope by the end of the lesson, the students will be able to know the definition of a letter, learn the differences between formal and informal letters. Uh, they will also have some clear ideas about format and the main parts of a formal letter. Then they will understand the various types of formal letters. And finally, we will discuss the techniques of writing, inform, uh, writing formal letters. So without any delay, let us go into the topic directly. So at first, we, will going to, we are going to talk about the definition of a letter. So what is a letter? I have a definition for you. Uh, a letter is written, typed, or printed medium of communication, usually sent in an envelope by post or a messenger to a person or an organization for personal, official, or business correspondence. So this is a quite handy definition of a letter. And from this definition, you get the idea that a letter can be written and in modern times, in the age of computers, letters are usually typed and they are printed and they act as a kind of medium of communication and letters traditionally are sent in an envelope by post or by a messenger and letter is delivered to a person or an organization for personal, official or business correspondence. So this is all about the definition of a letter. Now let us talk about the types of letters. So if you consult the books of writing, you will get the ideas of the types of letters. Basically, in English or in other languages, letters can be of two types. Letters can be formal and letters can be informal. So these are the two major types of letters, formal letters and informal letters. Now what is a formal letter? So if you look at the name formal, so the letters which have a certain form or a certain pattern and they have certain kind of formality then those letters can be called formal letters so according to the screen you can uh, see the letters follow a certain pattern and formality that means formal letters usually follow a certain pattern a fixed pattern and they have certain formalities there are some conventions of writing formal letters and they strictly follow these formalities so informal uh, sorry formal letters are strictly professional in nature and directly address the issues concerned that means formal letters are very very direct and formal letters are mainly professional so you don't have to write anything personal or anything that is not uh, a formal thing 
you cannot write anything informal in a formal letter so any type of business letter or letter to authorities fall within this given category now formal letters are uh, mainly official letters and sometimes we call business letters so the letters that are uh, given and taken among different types of organizations and different type of institutions uh, this can be called formal letters now something about the informal letter though it is not our topic of discussion today but we will talk about some important factors of informal letters so these letters are personal letters that means informal letters are basically personal letters they need not follow any set pattern or adhere to any formalities so when you write an informal letter you are free to write anything that means uh, this type of letter uh, actually has no fixed pattern and there is no fixed convention or fixed formality so they contain personal information or a written conversation informal letters are generally written to friends family members acquaintances relatives etc that means uh, this kind of letters are personal letters so you can exchange informal letters with your relatives with your friends and family members your acquaintances uh, with whom you have a kind of informal relationship that means there is no official or business relationship so in these kind of relationships you can use informal letters now we are going to talk about some differences between formal and informal letters so you know the nature of this two types of letter are very different and that is why it is important to know the differences between formal letters and informal letters okay so you have some differences here for example formal letters are used in professional communication whereas the informal letters are used for personal communication secondly written in prescribed format only that means the formal letters have a very certain prescribed format and you cannot break that tradition you have to follow it but in case of informal letters there is no prescribed format that means you are free to write in any style you want then thirdly formal letters are written to business college or institutions uh, employers and organizations so these are the official setup and in this kind of official setup you are going to use formal letters and the same thing when it comes to informal letters you can write informal letters to your friends family members acquaintances and uh, with someone with whom you have a kind of casual relationship or informal relationship now formal letters are very fixed and they are complex uh, formal letters usually use uh, complex sentences so they are very very grave and very very formal in style but in case of informal letters we use short and simple sentences so there is no need of official or formal language while writing informal letters there are some more differences formal letters are very polite and uh, the language is also very formal and in case of informal letters you can say that uh, informal letters are casual they are not very very formal or polite sometimes it can be very casual so 
So simple and informal language is used in case of informal letters. Uh, the next difference is that no slang or colloquial language is allowed in formal letter writing. So when you write formal letters, you cannot use any kind of slang or any kind of colloquial language. So the language that we use in our everyday life, or when you talk about others, when we talk to other people in our daily life, this language is not appropriate for writing formal letters. But slang or colloquial is frequently used in writing informal letters. Now there's one important thing. Uh, many of our students think that slang means bad language. Actually, it's not that. Slang is actually a lower class of language, which is not uh, polite, which is not uh, polished language. So slang does not mean any kind of insult or any kind of other things. So slang or colloquial language is frequently used in writing informal letters. Now, the last thing about the differences between formal and informal letters is Contractions and abbreviations are avoided in writing formal letters. So when you write formal letters, you cannot use abbreviations or you cannot use contractions. Uh, it is frequently seen that students use many kinds of contracted forms like don't, can't, shouldn't in uh, formal letters or any kind of formal writing. Uh, for example, writing paragraphs in your examination or writing a report in your examination. So when you write in your examination and you are writing something formal, then you cannot use the contracted forms or you cannot use the abbreviations. You have to write the full form. You have to write do not. You have to write cannot, not don't or can't. Now, in case of informal letters, you can do these things frequently. That means you can use contractions, you can use abbreviations very, very commonly. So that is the difference between formal letter and informal letters. Okay, I hope you have some ideas about the differences between formal and informal letters. Now, our today's business is to learn how to write formal letters. So let us uh, talk about writing formal letters. Okay, now in this screen you can see uh, a kind of explanation about uh, what a formal letter is. So a formal letter is one written in an orderly and conventional language and follows a specific stipulated format. So same thing is repeated here. That means when you write a formal letter, you have to follow a very orderly and conventional uh, format. So it has a certain format and it has a certain rule of using language. Okay. So these letters are written for official purposes only. These are not to be used in your personal life. So they are used in official purposes only, such as uh, writing a letter to the manager, to the uh, human resource manager, to an employee, to the principal of the college or school, to a teacher, etc. So we have to remember that the purpose of formal letters actually uh, belong to the official category. So when you are writing official letters, you can say that you are writing formal letters. So at the last part of the paragraph, you can see, but we do not use formal letters for personal use, such as writing them to our family, relatives or friends. So when you write to your family members, relatives or friends, you do not use the formal style of letter writing. Okay, now there are some tips, there are some particular suggestions that you should follow while writing a formal letter. So what are the tips? Tips number one, 
address or greet the concerned person properly like dear sir dear madam that means you have to be very polite gentle and very very respectful to the person you are writing to now always mention the subject of writing the letter so formal letters obviously will have a subject that means you have to remind the person you are writing to about the subject of the letter you are writing to him or her now third tips be concise in your letter so this is a very important thing many of our students think that they should write pages after pages but you know formal letters are not long letters so they are very very concise in their uh, form so you should not lengthen it and you should not make it very long write the reason for writing the letter in the first paragraph then do not stretch the letter too much that means you have to write only what you have to write you cannot write anything unnecessary anything that is uh, not directly connected to your purpose so avoid unnecessary details now the next suggestion is that the tone of the letter should be very polite and not harsh so you are writing a formal letter that means you have to be very very formal that means you have to be very very polite gentle and you cannot be rude you cannot be harsh to the person you are writing a formal letter now the next uh, idea write in a proper format and take care of the presentation of a letter so while writing a formal letter you cannot be careless you cannot be careless or casual you have to follow the uh, fixed format and you have to be very careful while writing a formal letter now mention the address and date correctly so these things are very important while writing uh, formal letters you have to mention the address uh, you have to mention two addresses actually you have to write your own address and you have to write the address of the recipient and you have to write the date very carefully and correctly now mention the name and designation of the recipient correctly that means uh, you have to know to whom you are writing you have to know his or her title his or her designation and position and you have to mention them clearly and very carefully if you make a mistake it can cause lots of problems so you have to uh, be very careful while writing a formal letter now the closing of the letter should be with gratitude that means you have to be very polite and gentle and your attitude should be uh, a thank you attitude okay and you have to write thank you for consideration of the letter and then at last mention your sincerely or truly along with your name and signature so this is called the complimentary close that means you have to let you have to complete your letter in a very uh, polite manner and with due respect to the person you are writing to okay so these are the tips for writing a good formal letter now types of formal letters formal letters can be of various types there are so many forms of formal letters for example business letters the letters that we exchange for our business purposes official letters that means the letters that we exchange in uh, between different offices and between the boss and other employees between the superiors and inferiors of a um, of an organization or of an institution then appointment letters experience letter offer letter social letter circular letter leave letter resignation letter invitation letter complaint letter so all these are the types of formal letters and there are some more types also okay we are mentioning some of the most important types of uh, for 
Okay. Now, the most important thing about writing a formal letter is the format that we are going to follow. As I, as I always uh, know, uh, as we all have discussed the things earlier, as I have said, formal letters follow or it requires uh, some specific rules and conventions. Okay. Also, the language of the letters should be very professional. So the format is important. The language is also very important. The format here will help in uh, relaying the content of the letter in an informal way. And example of a formal letter is writing a resignation letter to the manager of a company or stating the reason for resignation in the same letter. So this can be an example, okay, how to write a formal letter or uh, when to write a formal letter. For example, if a person wants to resign from his job, then he can write a formal letter that is a letter of resignation to the authority and in that letter he will mention the causes of his uh, resignation okay so this is a formal situation and in that case we will use a formal letter all right now we will talk about the format of a formal letter so uh, basically there are two kinds of method that we use in writing formal letters. They are known as full block method and modified block method. And there is also another type which is known as semi-official or uh, sorry semi-block method. But that method is not used internationally. In some uh, local offices we can use the semi-block format. But we are not going to discuss semi-block format. We will talk about only two popular formats. The most popular one is the full block method. Okay, This is uh, internationally accepted and widely used format of writing formal letters. Now, what does it mean when you say blue, uh, full block method? What does it mean actually? So full block method is a style of writing the letter and it is basically connected with the alignment of the items of a letter. So full block format features all the elements of the letter aligned to the left margin of the page. So whatever you write when you write in full block method, whatever you write, you have to write it from the left margin. You have to start any point or every point from the left margin. So it has a neat and simple appearance. It looks very good because all these things start from the left margin. That's why there is no uh, scattered or haphazard way which can uh, hamper the look of the letter. So uh, it has a neat and simple appearance. Paragraphs are separated by a double space line. So these are the uh, important things about full block method. Now there is another important thing. In full block method we do not use any kind of punctuation marks except the body of the letter. Okay, So in full block method you don't have to use any punctuation marks except in the body of the uh, letter. All right, now we will go on to the next method. The next method is actually known as the modified block method. Now, modified block method differs a lot from uh, the block method. Actually, the date, the sign off, and signature lines begin at the center point of the page line. Okay, that means uh, the sender's address the date, the sign off, and the signature, they come to the right hand side when you use the modified block. But the other things, the other uh, 
uh, elements like the uh, recipient's address, the subject line, the salutation and the body, all things start from the left margin. Okay, <clears throat> only the date, sign off and signature, these three items will move on to the right side. Now, the beginning of each paragraph is intended five spaces along with the subject line, if used. So when you write in block, sorry, in a modified block, there is a kind of paragraph intendation. That means the first line of each paragraph should be uh, pressed uh, to the right hand side using five spaces. Now, depending on the length of the letter, paragraphs may be separated by a single or double line space. So this is something about the uh, format of the modified block method. Now, if you have uh, understood the things, you can be uh, more clarified if you follow the picture that you can see on the screen. On the left side, you see the block method or full block method. And on the right side, you see the modified block. So you can see all the lines start from the left margin in the block method. So all information begins to uh, begins flushed to the left margin. That means all the lines of the letter should start on the left margin. But look at the right side. In modified block style, the date and company information begin at the center. That means these things start in the middle of the pages. And at the end of the letter, you can see the closing and signature block these two items are pressed to the right. So this is very important to notice. Look at this. The date and company information begins at the middle of the page. And in the same alignment, you can use the closing salutation and signature. So these also start in the middle of the page. Now there are some more clarification for you. So this is a very good idea to look at this uh, full block style. So on the top of it, there is the heading, then there is inside address, then salutation, then the body, then the complementary close, then signature block. And finally, if you have an enclosure, then you can add it at the last stage of the letter. So this happens in case of full block method. Now look at this one. This one actually clarifies the modified block style. Now in modified block style, you have the heading on the right side. That is on this particular side. Then you have the inside address, salutation and body on the left margin. Then once again, you have to come to the right side to write the complementary close and the signature block. So these are the basic differences between the full block and modified block methods. Now the question is, which one should you follow? Okay. My suggestion is that you should follow the full block method because that is internationally accepted uh, style of writing formal letters. So you can follow this one. Okay. You can have a look again. At first, if you have to write the heading, then inside address. Okay. Heading is actually the sender's address and date. At first, you have to write the sender's address. The person who is writing the letter should put his or her address on top of the page. And then there comes the date. Then this is the inside address. Inside address actually means the address of the recipient. Okay, the address of the person you are writing to. Then there is the salutation. 
you have to address the person very politely and this is known as the salutation then there comes the body in the body you can write three paragraphs in the first paragraph you should introduce the topic in the middle you will discuss the topic in detail and in the third paragraph you can conclude the uh, main idea of the letter then after completing the body you have the complimentary close that means sincerely yours or yours faithfully yours truly etc these are called the complimentary close a polite way to close the letter then there is the signature block okay there is the signature block that means you have to put your signature then you have to write down your name and designation and finally there is the enclosure enclosure that means if you attach anything else any extra papers to the letter you have to mention it here and that is known as enclosure or attachment okay so this is the good method for you you have to follow this uh, full block style for writing formal letters now the parts of a formal letter as I have already mentioned there are eight parts usually there are eight parts in a formal letter okay let us uh, know their names the letterhead or sender's address date line that means we need to write the date then there is the inside address or the recipient's address recipient address actually means the uh, person who receives the letter that means the person to whom you are writing the letter uh, that address is known as the inside address or recipient's address after the recipient's address or inside address you have to put the subject line that means you have to mention the subject of the letter what is the main issue what is the main subject of your writing the letter then there is the salutation okay and in salutation you can use dear sir or dear madam and if you know the name of the person you can uh, write like dear mr scott dear mr roberts uh, something like this then there is the body of the letter then after completing the body you have the complimentary close and at last you have the signature block now let us get to know these things in detail okay so this is a kind of uh, format written in the full block method and if you look closely you can see the items here uh, in a very very orderly manner so what do you see at the top at the top you have the sender's address if you write the letter you have to write your address on top of the page after writing your address you will give a space and then you will write the date okay then after writing the date you have to write the receiver's address or the recipient's address all right the person you are writing to then there is the subject i said subject line here it is called subject after writing the subject of the letter you have to write the salutation like dear sir dear madam then there is the body of the letter it consists of three paragraphs on the first paragraph you should introduce yourself and mention the reason that means you have to uh, give your introduction and you have to mention why are you writing this letter after that in the second paragraph detail of the matter that means uh, what you have introduced in the first paragraph should be explained and elaborated in the second paragraph and then there is the third paragraph mention the conclusion and solution so in this paragraph you actually close your letter officially now after writing the third paragraph of the body you are going to write the complimentary closing now complimentary closing actually means sincerely yours or yours faithfully now when to write sincerely yours and when to write yours faithfully now if you write to a known person then it is 
conventional that you should write sincerely yours. But if the person is not well acquainted with you, then you can use yours faithfully. And then you have the name, that means your signature block will appear at the end of the letter. And in your signature block, you have to put your initial signature and then you have to write your full name. And after that, you have to write down your designation. Now, this is the popular format of writing a formal letter. Now, we have some details about the parts of a formal letter. The first part is letterhead or sender's address. Uh, in the upper left corner of the letter, include your name or your company's name. Follow it with your address in the lines below. So letterhead or sender's address is written at the upper left hand corner of the letter. It is the address of the writer of the letter or, or the sender of the letter. Then you have the deadline and in your deadline you have to make sure that you have included the date of the letter in the upper left hand corner just below the uh, letter head or the sender's address. So in a block style letter include a space or line between the date and your contact information. The date of the letter should be the date you are writing it. Okay, uh, You cannot use the back date or the uh, future dates. You have to write exactly the same date you are writing the letter. Now date is very important because um, it can be related to some other factors that are necessary for the letters. Now inside address or the recipient's address so after the date, you should also include the inside address or the recipient's name with their official title, such as Mr. or Mrs., Miss or uh, Mrs. And you should uh, put their job title. You should uh, mention the name of their company or their institution and their address. Now, if you don't have their contact information, uh, refer to their company website to assist you. You can also use their company website as a kind of uh, inside address for the letter. Okay, after writing the inside address, you have to write the subject line. Now, in full block style of a formal letter, you have to include a subject line because there is no formal letter without a subject line. It is a must in a formal letter. You must give the subject line just after the recipient's contact information. That means just below the, uh, I said, inside address. Okay. Now the subject line should let the recipient know what the letter is about. Okay. It will tell why are you writing this letter. Now the salutation. Salutation is actually the greeting, and you have to greet the person. Uh, in a very formal manner in your formal letter and you have to make sure that you are not too conversational or casual that means you cannot be so casual while writing a formal letter now if you uh, know their name you should use sir or madam and if you uh, know their name you can use doctor mr or mrs just followed by their full name okay but in our uh, institutional letters we don't actually use the names we actually use the uh, profession or the uh, professional title of that person for example we don't write the name of our principal we say the principal we say the head of the department okay we don't actually use their names or we can say sir we can say madam and you can use the word dear so the proper salutation for 
a formal letter can be dear sir or dear madam after salutation you have the body of the letter and the body of the letter is the information you are writing in your letter so this is the most important part of the letter it is the thing that is uh, responsible for holding all your ideas and it may be developed in three paragraphs I have already said that uh, you can write the opening or introductory paragraph the content details that means you have to present the main ideas in detail in this second paragraph or the content details and that is the third paragraph or the closing paragraph and uh, this closing paragraph helps you to close the body of the letter in a very stylish manner now after completing the body you have the complimentary close okay complimentary close is a polite way of closing the letter and in the complimentary close the first word is capitalized and you put a comma after the last word some examples of complimentary close are sincerely yours yours faithfully okay I have already said if you, if the person is known to you you should use sincerely yours but if the person is not known to you you should use yours faithfully now the last word is actually the signature block of the letter so uh, this is an integral part of a formal letter and in this part we have the writer's name along with designation it goes under the closing so in a formal letter the professional signature and full name are required okay only nickname is not enough you have to write down your uh, full name along with your initial signature okay now after you sign at the bottom of the letter and write your name you have to write your designation or your position uh, from which you are writing the letter okay now this is the sample of a formal letter so you can look at it very carefully uh, at the top of the letter you see name of the sender then address then date then the name of the recipient and designation and company name address this is actually the inside address then there is the subject line then dear mr or miss then there is the body in the body you have three parts and after completing the body there is the complimentary close sincerely yours then there is name and signature and the other things now one thing you should notice here that is all the lines of the letter <coughs> excuse me for that all the lines of the letter starts from the left margin okay so this is the right and exact format for writing formal letters in your examination okay so we have come to the end of this lecture I hope you have understood the techniques of writing a formal letter now I hope your classes will start that means your in-person classes will start very soon and we are going to meet in the classroom and then we can talk about more on writing um, formal letters and then there is the techniques of writing formal emails so I hope we will discuss these things personally or uh, directly in the classroom so I hope we will meet soon and we will discuss the other things that are necessary for your examination uh, I wish you best of luck 
and thank you for paying your attention to today's class so that's all for today